Hello everybody, Speedrun here once again. In this tutorial, I will explain everything about this screenshot logo.bmp. This file is responsible for the screenshot and that make you your server a lot cooler. Now let's see how we can edit and keep a very good quality in this file. First, we need to locate the file and this is by default in data, texture, folder and right here. You can also open data.jrf and you realize that there is also the screenshot uh, logo.bmp. All right. You probably have this if you own a server. If you just want to modify a server, then you can go to your client folder data.jrf. You can use grf editor. And right here, you just simply select S cr logo dot bmp and you can see that this is the official one all right so you can extract that or you actually can create from scratch which we are going to learn right now so i'll show you another example of my renewal server so i have the client yeah client folder and then data and texture right here i have uh this as well which i'm going to drag and drop in photoshop now i'm also going to show you that in the screenshot folder i have an example for you so every time i screenshot right here have the this is screenshot uh, logo so every screenshot has it and this makes a lot nicer you will notice that sometimes it can get the pink contour around this and I'm going to teach you how to fix that. Let's go and do the both options right here, right now. So we get started by um, seeing what it looks first and how we can modify that. First, I'm going, since I'm already running the server right here, I'm going to run my regexc and log in into my account. So I will need to log in three times for this example. First, uh, I'm going to just remove all this and press uh, right here, print screen. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Uh, screenshot and right here print screen now you can see that uh, it gets a little bit pink here but we will use another example soon this is the screenshot that we are going to modify right now let's go to photoshop and start modifying this you can see the um yeah, let me full screen 100 percent is this size which is very small so i'm going to image image size and let's uh, double this to double i can use asterisk two so it's gonna double okay let's make a lot bigger here um all right so this is good we have increased the size you can see now I lost some resolution, but we are going to create our own, right? And I'm going to use the bucket tool. I will first I create a new layer right here. All right. And I use the bucket tool to cover that. Now I'm going to insert our own logo. So I create a new layer again. And I'm going to drag this PNG that I have on my desktop into Photoshop. I'm also going to um, reset transformation and I'm going to rasterize layer. Okay. So here is a very good example of why this, in this tutorial is really cool. Let me drag this here. Okay. And place this right here for example this is your logo 
okay and you can see that around this image okay has some not completely um pink as it should all right so let me show you an example so the pink we need is ff 0 ff if we click here you can see that all right changed uh let me drag this here so right here you can see that this is ff 0 ff and right here you can see that all right changes this mean here will continue to be pink but not transparent in order to be transparent, you must be the hash number FF00FF. That will be transparent in game. So I'm going to save this first, uh, right here in the location of my server. And 24-bit, uh, make sure it's not 32. It must be 24 or 8-bit. To be 8-bit, you need to go mode and index column. Anyway, now I save it. We can go ahead and test. Let's run our regexc once again and uh, take another print screen. Okay, plug in. Perfect. Uh, so let me claim that. All right. So right here, I'm going to take another print screen. All right. Let's see how that looks. Screenshot, and down here we have the print screen. Here is the perfect example of what I want to say. Do you see those pink lines around um, here, around your screenshot? We are going to fix this today. Let's go ahead and fix it right now. What? do I do is actually a very simple procedure you have uh, layers here okay so now I will off my avatar really quick you have the layers and you have the pink layer and you have the retina right here so retina we can turn off and then the pink layer and this so you remember we I said that this is not um transparent the way to fix is to duplicate this layer many times so i'm going to click on the layer that i want to duplicate and press ctrl j ctrl j until the pink is gone so now it's too many layers what i can do i can shift click right click and uh, convert smart object now i can continue to ctrl j you see that now let me return my avatar right so you see that now i continue to control j the layers until this is completely um like a pixel art so let's go ahead and convert smart object and continue to duplicate now you can see there are no um, any transparent pink kind of so now we can save it once again to our folder say yes all right and right here i can actually go back to my screenshot uh, let's screenshot one more time um all right we are almost done in this tutorial let me turn off here and once again this is going to be part of my thumb now so I'm going to print screen once again. Now you can see um, in the screenshot folder that this is fixed. Now we have completely fixed our screenshot and it's looking nice, sharp, without that pink line around it. And I hope you have learned something today. Let's compare once again. This is the one before with the pink, and this is the one fixed. This was the tutorial for today. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you again soon. Subscribe.